Ryan Mayfield. Joe Bornhorst will come around for that number three spot, and Davide Ongaro will take second. We're sitting it down here to Ryan Mayfield and Tyler Hooks on the driver's stand. All right, Tyler Hooks here with the AKA Race Report. We've got Ryan Mayfield, the 2019 DNC Pro Truggy winner. Pretty much a flawless run. How did you manage to make that happen on a track this gnarly? Man, I, before my last stop, I crashed over there after that little double, and the marshal didn't really get me. And my truck started like running out of fuel because we don't have a clunk, and I was coming in from my pit, and I'm yelling, I'm like, I got a pit, I got a pit, yelling at my guys. So about that, and then I freaking clipped this thing coming out of the pit wall. I thought I blew the arm off of it. Other than that, it was good main. I mean, my truck was unbelievable, this MBX AT. Um, you know, we, the, the Mugen cars have always been awesome in the bumps, but the, the new truck, the old truck, didn't really turn enough. This thing is the perfect combination. Everything turns, it goes through the bumps. Uh, the new MX engines, man, I could hit that triple anywhere and it Dover jump it by five feet. Um, so I can't thank my team enough. I can't thank Jason Rona enough, brought the tire package out here. And, you know, Angaro was coming. Holy crap, I could see him just chopping, chopping, chopping. And I just told myself, get back in your rhythm. You know what to do, focus forward. Um, that's what I tried to do. So, yeah, that was gnarly. I mean, the pace was insane. I, I pushed the truck as hard as I could the entire run. Obviously, David and Joe did as well. Um, and yeah, the, the, this this level of racing nowadays is insane. I mean, you're literally pushing it as hard as you can every single lap, running better laps and qualifying through the whole main. Um, and it's a little taxing on on the mental game. But yeah, thanks for Live RC. Thanks for Joey and the crew for covering, you know, making this happen. And that was awesome. Congratulations, Ryan. Thanks. And uh, second place finisher, Davide Angaro. I mean, I don't know what else you could have done, man. You tried really hard. How was your run? I'm very happy because uh, it was really difficult because the track is really bumpy. Uh, also because we never drove the, the track in Europe, so I'm really happy. Yeah, it seems like uh, pretty much most of the American guys were taking the triple. You were going double single in the middle, and you were jumping into the pole. How are how are you doing that? Because I, I don't want to, to, make, to take a risk on the triple, so I, I, try, I decided to make two and one, uh, and we decided to do like this, and it's okay. So, I mean, I don't know. It, it's like Mayfield was talking about. You guys are, are making the pace so much quicker every race. Um, how are you guys able to focus on a track, especially that bumpy, for 45 minutes, like he said, going faster than you were in qualifying? I think Ryan was uh, really, really good. Uh, I think you have to, to take the, the good line on the track and stay calm and drive. All right, well, congratulations, Davide. Thank you. All right, and third place finisher, third place qualifier. Not looking super very happy, but we'll see. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, yeah, I, I just kind of lost touch with them at the beginning. Um, honestly, Marco Barufalo was kind of an idiot at the beginning. Um, just he took me out probably three times or so, and uh, that kind of just made me lose touch with the guys. But I don't think I had their pace anyways. Um, then I, I kind of rode around fourth and for a while, and then about 20 minutes ago, my, my goggles started to fog up, and I couldn't really see anything. So the next to last pit, uh, I th had to throw off my goggles, and my headset came with it, my hat went with it and everything. My, hats, my headset flew off the driver's stand. Uh, I think Ronnie Rivkin picked it up for me or something, but it was a little bit crazier than the beginning, but then I could see good, and uh, uh, I think I dropped my lap times at the end a little bit. Um, me and Ty were pretty close there at the end. I think I ended up like maybe five to seven seconds up, up on him. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, my truck was awesome the whole time. No, no fade tires. M3 Buckshot was awesome the whole time. And uh, yeah, I mean, I want to win these things. I, I really do, and I'm trying my ass off to do it. But um, you know, third is as good as I can do tonight. So it's it's good. Yeah, no. Sometimes it's kind of frustrating to be the best of the rest. But I mean. Yeah. What can you do? Against the competition that's here, I mean, this is a world-level event. Uh, I think pretty much everyone that, you know, is at the Worlds is here. And, uh, you know, to come away with two podiums today, I'm more than happy. I'm fine. All right. Well, congratulations, Joe. Thanks, buddy.